ഹലോ ഐ എം ഡോക്ടർ ശ്രീധർ കല്യാണസുന്ദരം കൺസൾട്ടൻറ്റ് നിയനറ്റോളജിസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് പീരിയാട്രീഷ്യൻ വെൽക്കം ടു മൈ ചാനൽ ഇൻ ദിസ് വീഡിയോ ഐ വിൽ ഡിസ്കസ് എ വെരി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ടോപ്പിക് വിച്ച് ഇസ് വെരി ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റിംഗ് അസ് വെൽ വൈ ഇസ് എ കോവിഡ് നയൻറ്റീൻ ഇൻഫെക്ഷൻ മൈൽഡ് ഇൻ കിഡ്സ് ഇറ്റ്സ് എ വെരി ഗുഡ് തിങ് ഫോർ എസ് ഒബിയസ്ലി ദറ്റ് ഇറ്റ്സ് മൈൽഡ് ബട്ട് വൈ ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് സോ സൊ ചിൽഡ്രൻ കോൺട്രിബ്യൂട്ട് എയ്റ്റ് ടു ട്വൽവ് പെർസെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഓവറോൾ ഇൻഫെക്ഷൻസ് ഡ്യൂ ടു കോവിഡ് നയൻറ്റീൻ the symptom rate is much lower with majority having asymptomatic or mild infection a small proportion however gets hospitalized the mortality rate is much lower in children even though they get hospitalized say, most of them recover of course we should be aware of the multi system inflammatory syndrome uh, or the pims uh, covid as it's called as well uh, and it's seen in a small number of children after the covid infection maybe 4 uh, to 8 weeks after the infection Uh, it may present with uh, rash high fever abdominal pain it may present with myocarditis like symptoms or shock and uh, we should be alert to its possibility in any child presenting with such uh, abnormal presentations in the current days with the covid numbers rising so why is covid infection mild in children uh, this is a very interesting slide i came across and i want to summarize it with you so there are five clues why children have reduced susceptibility to covid 19 so Uh, this illustration is showing the SARS virus getting into the nasal passage and we have the exposure to common coronavirus infection in the uh, pediatric cases which might reduce the binding and uh, in the adults it binds and replicates more easily so this is one point i'll move on to the next slide to show the remaining points in a better way so the first point is coronavirus associated with common colds in children may offer some protection due to cross sensitive cross reactive t cell immunity between the common coronaviruses that we are already exposed to and the sars cov2 and due to the reduced ace2 in the uh, nasal mucosa of children so this is a very important point uh, children get the coronaviruses in the community much more easily because when they go to the day care they play with children in a much more physical way they are involved physically with many other children compared to what adults are once we go to work we hardly come in physical contact with anyone you probably interact more with your family members and what you do outside but children it spreads between them very easily and so they have uh, common colds for that reason on a recurrent basis so we say 6 to 8 infections a year and luckily uh, that exposure is protecting them to some extent so uh, the second point is uh, reduced tmpr ss2 in children in type 1 alveolar epithelial cells uh, so what is this so the tm tmpr ss2 is basically uh, a protease uh, which cleaves the spike protein and uh, this cleaved spike protein is able to bind to the ace2 receptor so this step the tmpr ss2 uh, cleaving the uh, spike protein is a very important step which makes the Uh, coronavirus stick to the aces and then gets into the cell so this is the important stage and in children we have reduced uh, level of this protease in type 1 alveolar epithelial cells the ace2 levels uh, in the children in the nasal mucosa as well as in the type 2 alveolar epithelial cells is much lower so we have the type 1 alveolar epithelial cells and the type 2 epithelial cells and the type 2 cells are the ones that produce uh, surfactant as we know and uh, that's the third point is a protective th2 immunity in children so we often talk about th1 th2 balance when it comes to allergy and when it comes to fighting infections so a th1 uh, activity protects against uh, bacterial infections and a th2 uh, predominance leads to allergy and so on in children in these days a the th2 immunity is still Uh, getting the balance with the th1 and the hygiene hypothesis we say that there is preponderance of th2 because they are clean and the th1 is not active yet it's a uh, balance which increases or improves with age in most people however in children the th2 is slightly uh, stronger and that has been shown to have a protective uh, effect and there is also a certain surprising protection from the eosinophilia which is uh, derived uh, driven by the th2 cytokines including the interleukin 4 interleukin 5 and interleukin 13 so these are typically elevated in allergy conditions like asthma and these uh, cytokines may be helping us in the fight against the covid virus uh, the last point could be that the children produce lower levels of inflammatory cytokines 
the interleukin 6 production increases with age as we uh, know the cytotoxic storm is one of the main reasons why the covid infection produces a very serious infection in my video on the covid 19 vaccine i had mentioned how the vaccine might streamline our immune response avoiding this uh, cytotoxic storm and for the same reason because the children react less the uh, storm may be avoided and that's why they're less sick so uh, the, these are the illustrations so the green is the SARS-CoV-2 and uh, when we saw the common COVID-2 uh, common, common coronavirus we have the ACA2 receptor then the protease and the T helper 2 cells which are uh, uh, protecting against the virus and uh, eosinophils uh, and the TH2 predominance both help to fight as well and the lower level of interleukin 6 uh, in the children compared to the adults uh, reduces the cytotoxic storm effect so to summarize we have uh, a previous exposure to coronavirus which is much more recent in children because they are usually uh, exposed to coronavirus much more frequent obviously the adults would have been exposed when they were children but the memory response may not be that active the ACE2 receptor levels in the nasal mucosa is also higher so the coronavirus is able to bind and get into the uh, Protease uh, that is uh, sharing the uh, spike protein, uh, making it uh, more suitable to bind to the ACE2 uh, receptor is more active in the adults compared to the children. And uh, the ACE2 uh, uh, receptors on the children's uh, type 2 alveolar cells is also less active. The TH2 as well as allergy based response is protective and uh, the children may produce lower levels of inflammatory cytokines like IL-6 which is uh, protecting the children in these situations as well so uh, let's hope that it continues to be this way uh, obviously uh, this is a very interesting concept and many of us are wondering why children are less affected and that's the reason i made this video i hope it's useful i request you to subscribe to my channel and uh, share this information as well